Hello and welcome to 2615 Mountain Ash Lane, Washington Township, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the murraygroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here I'm standing out on the sidewalk looking at the front of this home. The first thing you'll notice, this is located on a quiet, no outlet street. Sidewalks on both sides of the cul-de-sac here. Located in Washington Township. And the one thing about this plat that I really like, it is... It's in a plat, so you have a community feel, but it's far away from all of the busyness and congestion of a lot of places in Centerville. So just, we're kind of located out in the country in this little plat here. Brick and cedar home, we do have a three car garage, some nice retaining wall, good sized backyard, sits well off the street, fabulous outside even better inside next we're going i'll meet you at the front door and let's go take a look before we go inside i wanted to show you this entry here just a massive second floor with brick archways and this home is located loaded with these amenities high ceilings and all of these extras that you don't get in the cookie cutter homes i'll meet you inside all right so here i just walked to the front door and you guys are in for a real treat with this home Nothing cookie cutter about it. Everything custom made. This home was actually built for the builder himself. So you know quality was at the forefront of everything that was done here. First thing when we walk in, this is a two-story entry. Goes all the way up to the second floor there. Entry is elevated. This all looks to be marble flooring in here. We have a coat closet immediately to our right. Six panel doors here opens right up into the living room and the living room has second floor ceilings as well. Immediately to our left is the formal dining room. And this does have an acoustical ceiling in here, tray ceiling some people call it, wood floors in the dining room. Spacious dining room as you can see can accommodate a china cabinet and much much more. We'll take another look at it from this angle. That's our kitchen right over there. So we're gonna Check out this living room. Now, one thing to point out, these two light fixtures, the one in the entry and in the living room, do not stay. These have sentimental value to the current owners. But three nice picture windows here. There's our fireplace that looks to have marble surround there as well. And just a grand, grand room. And you can actually see it from the second floor as well. Now, here's the entry where we just came from. There's one entrance to the dining room. This side will take us to the second floor and to our kitchen and living room, family room, potato, potato, depending on what you call it here. We do have an office or a fifth bedroom right off of the entry. This has double steel doors here. So these are actually exterior doors for the inside because so could make a perfect office or guest bedroom or what have you. This is on the front of the home, if you're looking at it from the street. Make a perfect office, soundproof it away from the kids. Now, before we go check out the rest of the house, here's the master bedroom. Now, I want to point out to you, it is completely on the other side of the house. So you could be very, very private here. And there's also a second floor master bedroom. So that just opens up all kinds of possibilities with this house. Vaulted ceilings in here and a good sized bedroom. Those wood floors run through here. One thing I do want to point out, we do have a private deck just for the master quarters. There is entertaining area, you know, there's just the general entertaining area as well. This is a very nice room. King size bed, as you can see. And then look at all the room that we have. And we have large furniture in here and plenty of room. Then the master bathroom suite here. We do have a jacuzzi, or I should say jetted soaking tub here. Marble around here also. His and her vanities. And this one, makeup bench. Linen closet here, and then a huge walk-in closet. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Do have a walk-in shower here. And the nice thing is if you enter from the garage, there's almost no steps other than a half step getting into the front door. Check out the size of this closet. The vaulted ceilings go into the closet as well, as do the wood floors. 
let's be honest, this could be a nursery or another bedroom in most houses. But in this house, it is the walk-in closet. Great value for the money. Tons of storage here too. So we're gonna swing back around. We're gonna keep the video going continuous so you can get a flow of the house. This house is much bigger than what it looks. Living room to our right as we're walking through. Now here's that other view I told you I'd give you of the dining room. Again, this is on the front of the house. There's the front door where we just came from. Fantastic dining room. And then those marble-like floors run into our kitchen. Cooktop, we have a bread box here on the, on the right. High ceilings in here, and look at all the lighting. Tons of can lights in here. Pantry here, this is almost a walk-in pantry. It's ginormous. Granite countertops. And the kitchen sink overlooks this living room, which I'll give you some more views of this. All the way up to the second floor, all kinds of decorations and build-ins. Nothing cookie cutter about this home at all. Little breakfast nook back here, and this leads us out into the back deck, which I'll peek out there, show you the deck, and a large deck. And then we even have a garden over here, and the property line actually goes to just on the other side of that garden there. So good sized backyard too. Sits well off the road, cul-de-sac lot, great house for people with kids, myself being one of them. This is, I see possibilities for my family in here. I love this living room here. And that overlooks, we'll take a look from the living room, look of, look, excuse me, a look at the living room from the second floor too when we go up there here in a minute. Fireplace there, that's a gas fireplace. It's a mirror there right now, but perfect spot to potentially put a flat screen. Or it's a perfect spot over there too. All kinds of different arrangements and really much the great room type feel here. All the appliances are negotiable. Just a bright, spacious gathering area here. Perfect house for entertaining. Uh, before we go upstairs, I did want to show you, we do have a large coat closet right here. This is the door to our three-car garage, and I am going to take a peek out there. I normally don't. The marble-like tile here does flow into the bathroom. That looks to be a new toilet in there. And then utility room is on the first floor. So again, if you don't have kids, you don't ever have to go upstairs in this house with the first floor master. And you make the second floor master the guest quarters. Do have a sink in here, washer and dryer, and this closet looks like a regular size closet, but it actually runs all the way over there. So that is a huge closet here. And I will give you a peek at the garage just because how big it is and how much storage we have. This is our mechanical room right here to the left. And then really an oversized three, as you can see how deep it is. Look all the storage back here. Massive amount of storage, can easily park three cars in here and got the safety curb stop and it looks like epoxied floors in here as well. Next, I'm gonna go up there to my left and we're gonna go check out the second floor. I'll meet you upstairs. All right guys, so here I just came up the stairs. Check out the view that we have from up here. Just gorgeous. Love this. Just bright, open, wonderful, wonderful here. Now we have on the second floor four to five more bedrooms. And it's gonna be a little bit hard to keep up with the flow. So what I'm gonna do, instead of going down the aisle, hallway here, I'm gonna go immediately to the first bedroom on the right. Now I'll bring this all together here in a little bit, but this will be another bedroom here. Now as you can see, this walks into another bedroom. Now that one we're not calling it a bedroom, we're calling it a bonus room, but First bedroom you come into, boom. Could use this as two bedrooms very, very easily. This door over here leads to closet, attic storage here, large dormer. So this is all in addition to the county records. So this is where we go over 4,000 square feet with this house. Great use of space. I could see, easily see this being, I have twin girls perfect space for them, and I'll show you why. Let alone the split, the space here, 
we have a half bathroom here. And then coming through, we have Jack and Jill bathroom here. Shower tub here. We walk through. There's our commode. And then our vanity. So actually with that other half bathroom, they effectively made this Jack and Jill bedrooms. This is a pocket door here. Great space, room for the kids, and then a playroom for the kids. And then this leads over We'll move this door here into, we'll call it bedroom number three or bedroom number four, depending on how you're keeping count. This one actually has a nice little cubby area over here to put a dresser, as you can see, and ton of space here. Walk-in closet for the kids' room as well. Now this is the traditional door that you'd come in. So we're gonna come out a different place here. But over there is where we started. So on this side of the house, we have bedroom number one, or bedroom number one is in the, be uh, the first floor, bedroom number two, bedroom number three, the bonus room, bedroom number four, or bedroom number three, depending on how you're calling it. But one thing we walked past, this little office area here, fantastic use of space here. And this, you have a very nice view when you're working from the home office. Little storage area or decorative area there as well. And then we have yet another bedroom. This one has a really neat feature that I just loved about it. It's got a big picture window here that overlooks our fantastic great room down there. And it keeps going, ladies and gentlemen. This does have its own closet there to the right. We come down here, we have another area that could be an office area. This actually overlooks the entry. Remember I told you it went all the way from the second floor all the way down to the first floor. And then this also overlooks our living room. I love this house. V very well made, very well laid out. And then this is another just fabulous feature of this home. This is the second floor master bedroom. So we actually have two master bedrooms. That has a walk-in shower. We do have a linen closet right there. And this is on the front of the home if you're looking at it from the street. And this too has a walk-in closet. Look at that. That's a massive closet. So two possibilities for a master bedroom. So if you're keeping count, if we count the bonus room, we could have six bedrooms. We're calling it a five bedroom. And the bonus room is just that, a bonus room. Next, I'm gonna meet you back downstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the John Murray Group of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355 five five or by email that is john j o n at buywithjohn dot com that's b u y w i t h j o n dot com thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you but this home I just love this house I challenge you to find a nicer house with more architectural detail in this price range this house would most likely cost over $500,000 to build new right now. So give me a call. The owners are looking for an offer. I look forward to talking to you.